Nepal is a country that's famous for its large peaks and its harsh landscapes. But if you head towards the south of the country, you will find something quite spectacular. Along the southern border of Nepal, you will find Chitwan National Park. And this park is one of the best places in the world to view Asian wildlife. It's one of the few remaining truly wild places on this planet, and it's home to a wide variety of weird and wonderful animals. Chitwan National Park is the oldest national park of Nepal, and Chitwan translates to Jungle Heart. This park is known for having a high humidity tropical monsoon climate, and there's plenty of rivers and wetlands throughout the park. Approximately two thirds of the globally threatened birds in Nepal are found in Chitwan National Park, and its waters are home to over 113 species of fish. In this video I will be going through just a few of the amazing animals that you can find in this park, as I will be going through 10 weird and wonderful animals that you can find in Chitwan National Park. I think one of the best groups of animals to start with are the reptiles, as Chitwan National Park is simply full of them. One of the best places to spot them is in the waterways, and one of the larger reptiles you're more likely to come across is the mugger crocodile. This crocodile is quite a broad snouted crocodile, and this snout makes it look quite like an alligator. This crocodile is both fast in and out of the water, as it's both a powerful swimmer and it is surprisingly fast on land. Like many other crocodiles, this species will happily feed on fish, but it is known for having quite a varied diet. It will eat almost anything it comes across in its wetland ecosystem, and it will even try to target difficult prey such as turtles and buffaloes. One of the most interesting things about this crocodile is the fact that it's been observed using tools. Tool usage is quite rare in the animal kingdom, and it's most often associated with very intelligent creatures. The mugger crocodile doesn't use tools to protect itself, but instead it uses tools to help it catch its prey. They balance sticks and branches on their heads, and this lures birds that are looking for nesting materials. The mugger crocodile will then snap up these unlucky birds, and it turns out to be a very easy meal. One other giant reptile that the mugger crocodile shares its habitat with is the Asian rock python. Like all pythons, this species is a non-venomous species, and although it's smaller than its close relative the Burmese python, it is still one of the largest snakes in the world. It tends to be more lightly coloured than the Burmese python, and reaches a maximum length of around 3 metres. In the wild, these snakes tend to be very lethargic and slow, and they very rarely attack humans. They can be found in a whole range of habitats, but they do prefer swamps and marshes, and they do need a permanent source of water. The Asian rock python is an excellent swimmer, and they often spend a large portion of their day fully submerged. Like the mugger crocodile, they feed on a wide variety of prey, but they're known to take down animals as large as deer. This definitely means that they're a snake not to be messed with, but there is another extremely large reptile in Chitwan that there's really no need to fear. The gharial is one of the largest crocodilians in the world, but it is also one of the rarest. It is currently listed as critically endangered, with only around 200 remaining in Nepal. They were once hunted relentlessly for their skins and their eggs, and fishermen also viewed them as competition. Luckily Chitwan is one of their few remaining strongholds, and these crocodilians really are a spectacular sight. Even though they're extremely large, it's very unlikely for them to attack a human, as they're far more interested in fish. Most crocodiles that specialise in feeding on fish have very narrow snouts, and that's definitely the case for the gharial. They are one of the most aquatic crocodilian species, and only really come on land to rest and to lay their eggs. This species is a great example as to why we need national parks, as Chitwan is one of the few places where this species can still thrive. Chitwan is also home to a far more famous reptile, and this reptile is the longest venomous snake in the world. Chitwan has quite a healthy population of king cobras, and these king cobras aren't as mean as you might think. It is the only member of its genus and despite its name, it is not actually a true cobra. The king cobra is feared by many people around the world, but if you are a snake hater, this cobra is on your side. The majority of the king cobra's diet is made up of snakes, and it will even indulge in cannibalism. To be able to deal with other dangerous snakes, the king cobra has a slight immunity to other snake venoms, but it does not have a complete immunity. Even though the king cobra possesses a venom that consists of cytotoxins and neurotoxins, bites are relatively rare. Venom is quite valuable to a snake and it will only use it if it feels like it needs to. In most cases, they will use growling and hissing as a defence, and they will only bite if they're left with no other option. The king cobra is truly one of the most iconic reptiles in the world, but now I think it's time that we move on to the mammals. 
When it comes to mammals, Chitwan really is the land of the giants, as it's truly one of the few places left on this planet that can sustain large herbivores. Arguably one of the most iconic mammals that can be found in Chitwan is the Indian rhinoceros, which also goes by the name of Greater One-Horned Rhinoceros. This species once had a much larger range, but due to excessive hunting and agricultural development, it's reduced to only 11 sites in northern India and southern Nepal. The Indian rhinoceros is quite easy to tell apart from its African relatives, as it does have some quite interesting skin. Its thick hide looks like a suit of armour, and this is definitely one of its functions. There's flexible skin between these plates, and this allows them to shift as the Indian rhinoceros moves. The Indian rhino is a grazer, and their diet consists almost entirely of grasses. Surprisingly, this rhino is very at home in the water, and not only are they excellent swimmers, but they're also more than happy to feed on submerged and floating aquatic plants. Because of their size, they have very few natural predators, and tigers are only really a danger to their young. There is another very formidable plant eater that also calls Chitwan National Park home, and it goes by the name of the Gower. This species is one of the largest bovids in the world, and it is native to South and Southeast Asia. Again, this species once had a much larger range, but today this range is seriously fragmented. Luckily, Chitwan is home to a population of these bovids, and as you might be able to see, this species exhibits some sexual dimorphism. The males are much larger, and they truly are giants. The males can weigh over 1.5 tons, and a lot of this weight is pure muscle. If you see this species in the wild, it's best to leave it alone as they are extremely shy and cautious animals, and they are known to be very aggressive towards predators. Chitwan National Park is also home to the largest mammal in Asia, and this mammal is of course the Asian elephant. Despite being a giant, the Asian elephant is the smallest species of elephant, and there are three recognised subspecies. Asian elephants are extremely sociable, and they often form groups of up to six to seven related females. More than two-thirds of an Asian elephant's day is spent feeding on grasses, but they will also feed on other more nutrient-rich foods when they get the chance. Both captive and wild elephants can be found throughout Chitwan, and it's one of the few places that they are mostly safe from human-elephant conflict. For the wild Asian elephants, life is mostly carefree in Chitwan National Park, but the young do have to look out for one very mean predator. The Bengal tiger is a population of the mainland Asian tiger, and it is one of the largest big cats alive today. Famously, tigers were once far more widespread, but thanks to poaching and habitat loss, their numbers have been decreasing rapidly over the centuries. Today, there are thought to be around 355 in Nepal, and a lot of these tigers are in Chitwan National Park. These big cats feed on a wide range of prey animals, but the majority of their diet is made up of ungulates, wild pigs, and bovids. When desperate, they will feed on smaller foods such as langurs, and they will even target large snakes. Thanks to conservation in some areas, Bengal tigers are making a comeback, but they do need a lot of space to thrive. Chitwan is one of the few wide open wild spaces where they can do so, and really wild places such as this are hard to come across. The final two animals in this video are both birds, and this national park is simply full of them. As it has waters teeming with fish, there are plenty of predatory birds, and just some of these birds are storks, herons, and kingfishers. Strangely, our first bird spends most of its time on land, and it is quite a famous bird. The Indian peafowl is a species native to the Indian subcontinent, but it has been introduced into many countries around the world. To most people, the Indian peafowl is a captive bird, and the males are referred to as peacocks, and the females are referred to as peahens. Because these birds are so common in captivity, it's easy to overlook them, but they really are quite amazing birds. The male's display is one of the most extravagant in the animal kingdom, and there's simply very few birds that can rival it. Its feathers have always been used in art and culture, and these feathers are covered in colourful eye spots. Despite this bird's bulky appearance, they are able to fly, but they very rarely do so over long distances. Luckily, this bird is one of Chitwan's more common residents, and it is also found over much of the Indian subcontinent. Our next bird is truly quite a rare bird, but it is also a very iconic one. The Great Hornbill is one of the larger members of the Hornbill family, and it occurs both in the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. These birds do exhibit some sexual dimorphism, and it is possible to tell the difference between a male and a female by looking at their eyes. These birds are often found in small groups in the wild, and they spend the majority of their day feeding on fruits. Their bills are shaped in a perfect way to feed on these fruits, but in some cases they will feed on more meatier foods. They will target small mammals and reptiles, and as they are so large, they can easily steal fledgling birds from nests. 
This bird has been heavily affected by habitat loss and poaching over the years, as its body parts are used for traditional medicine, and its feathers were traded as valuable fashion items. Luckily today there are more protections in place, and Chitwan National Park really is a safe space for these birds. There really are so many more animals that I could have included in this video, so if you think you know of any you can let me know down in the comments below, as this park really is something special. But for now, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.